This is V Trades, and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Visa. The last time I looked at this company was back on July 5th, so I have about a month's worth of price action to discuss. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. Also, thank you to those who already subscribed and like my videos, it means a lot. Just a reminder that I have no positions in this company, so I'll give an unbiased viewpoint. Also, this video is for inter entertainment purposes only and does not constitute any financial advice. We will start out the technical analysis by going over what I see in the daily chart and potential price targets. Then we will wrap it up by looking over the long term pattern on the week weekly chart. So the first thing I'm going to do for the Visa stock is put a vertical line on where I left off, which was back on July 5th, which was about right here. So in my prior analysis, I uh, suspected Visa would continue its uptrend until the measured move was reached right, right, right around the 255 level to the 260 level. And it looks like we pretty much almost met it before selling off. So I do see Visa inside of this trend that it was in. Now we just had the break outside of it. So what, what does that mean? So if we're in a trend, right, and we're moving up with higher highs and higher lows, and we see the first break outside see how all the price bars are outside of the purple channel uh, usually um, we, we will get um, a new high in place or at least a retest of it so uh, we're just waiting for that we just have to let the um, smaller trend play out before that can happen looks like the smaller trend um, channels right here and we're almost making a new low for this one so even um, the micro pattern will uh, have the same sequence as the major pattern so like I said, for this major uptrend, we're going to see a breakout side, which we did, and a new high in place, which has yet to come. And the same thing will happen here. We had a breakout side for this micro channel, and we're probably going to get a new low or at least retest it, and that's what we're doing right now. And I don't know if this is going to lead to um, the reversal to go back up and retest the highs. It's a little too early to tell, or we're going to make two legs down. So expect this to also occur if we don't reverse from here. This, this was the first leg and looks like the second leg. So could we pull back to the 223 level? Um, it's likely, but uh, it might not happen because it looks like there's this horizontal support in play. Uh, price cannot uh, break through it and looks like it finally did. And then we're coming back to test it multiple times. Tested it once right here, two, three times already. So is this uh, a good support level where sellers cannot break through and buyers will soon step in and uh, make that new high? Or is sellers going to... Um, step in and drive the market lower to this 223 level and then wash out the buyers. So, I'm going to show you guys some measured moves. This was the first one right here. Price made a leg up, and then we saw the correction, and this was the second leg up, and we pretty much almost reached it before selling off, but then finally, price slowly uh, met it. So, since uh, we had two legs up already and we continued to higher, if I were to make another measured move, it would be this one right here and this target I see Visa could reach but is not likely is the 265 level I'm going to put a horizontal line there I don't see it reaching the 265 level because it just looks really far away and I don't think the strength the buying strength is enough to push it up here so since we had one leg up two leg up and looks like three legs up if I take the um, first leg it's usually about the same size as the third leg and if I drag, drag this up from right at the end of the correction of the second leg, it looks like we could most likely reach this level right here, which would be the 255 level. So we're gonna have to wait till this um, short term trend plays out. And then if is, I don't know if that's gonna be um, a reversal right away to test this high or even get a new high. We just have to wait and see. But if we do not find support at this 235 level, we're probably going to drop down to the 223 level. So we just have to wait and see. Uh, it's just too early to call because I don't see any bullish or bearish signs. I would not go short over here or long. Um, the, there's a time to buy. There's a time to sell. And there's a time to do nothing. And the time to do nothing is right now. You just got to stay neutral and wait for more price action to give you more clues on what it's doing. But most likely on how this pattern plays out is um, we get a new high in place because we had the first break. So price will try to attempt to do that. But um, are we going to get the fir uh, reversal right now or are we going to get the two legs down to this 223 level and then reverse up or are we just going to continue lower? So we just have to wait and see. But most likely what will happen 
is if we don't find support this 235 level we will continue lower to this 223 level but if we do find support right now we're probably going to come back to test the highs and probably even break it to reach the 255 level and if it still continues higher it'll probably reach the 265 level so that's everything i see on the daily chart and i'm going to show you guys the weekly weekly chart and another thing before i show you guys the weekly chart look at the ema price was being supported by it and then um Towards the end right here, you can see it's being rejected by the EMA. So that's kind of a uh, change in the market structure. So before uh, we got above the EMA, or even if we did fall below it, we didn't really get it rejected that hard. Uh, we did get a little drop right here, but then we fell back up. Same thing over here, we were underneath the EMA, then we pushed above it. So over here, we pushed through the EMA and then we came back to retest it. And now we're still going lower. So this isn't really a good sign uh, for the bulls, but it's still too early to call. You know, we could still see a... Um, uh, a trap for the shorts and that may push the price back above the ema we just have to wait and see but the ema is not um like the end all be all you know the, the price action is more important and the price action says um we're probably going to retest that high most likely so here's the weekly chart for visa and all it looks like uh price was doing was pulling back to the ema because we were super extended uh, super extended from it uh, whenever price gets too far away from EMA, just EMA, just like right here, uh, the EMA acts as a magnet and it will pull it back. Same thing over here. Even for longs, let's say, um, well, that's for longs, but let's just say even for shorts, see how far the shorts were from the EMA and we slowly pulled back to it. So most of the time price uh, will be next to the EMA. Once it gets too far away, um, it acts like a rubber band. And that's what it looks like it's doing. We're just pulling back to the EMA and we may find support just like we did over here. And over here and just bounce and continue higher so that's something that could happen um let me go and show you guys this channel before i see the weekly chart it looks like we had this channel in play right around here if i drag it up that fits pretty nicely and then we had an overshoot and that led to an overshoot on the other side because the market is symmetrical. And then, like I said before, once we get a break of the channel, what are we going to see? Two legs up to a new high. And look at this pretty much perfect price action. We had the first leg right here. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little cleaner right there. And then we had a two legged correction, which is the center of the pattern. Um, and it ended at the 178 level. And if we continue and the price continued higher, where would it be likely headed? it would be this level the 263 level so it looks like we just came up short but i still see us hold on one second i think yeah so we just came up short um it doesn't we don't have to reach the measured move but most likely price will try to so this is the target i tried uh visa can reach however most likely we're probably just going to make a new high before reversing back down so we're back at the daily chart and you could see that um, right at the earnings they sold the market and they didn't really care about the news because the market movers don't really care about the news or if they did they really knew it beforehand so they just drove it up uh, got everyone in long positions and dropped it on them so you can see the earnings was pretty good it looks like they exceeded the expectations but price still sold off why because we were super far from the ema and we kind of just met two legs up so a uh, correction was due and that's what we got so Either this correction will end soon and we will retest that high or we will see two legs down and then retest that high. But if we um, get too far away from um, the channel that it just broke, uh, we could just see a new channel in play and that might just continue lower and lower. But most likely, uh, probably get a new low of this little correction, probably around the, the 233 level. And then we will probably retest the high and then the target that I showed you earlier is the um, ones that price could reach. It could reach that 255 level and then it might even reach that 263 level. So we just have to wait and see. It's just too early to call right now. We got to wait to see some bullish uh, reversal signs or even some selling uh, pressure. So it's just too early to call, but I'm just going to um, go off of what I see most likely happening because I see this pattern play out a lot of times before. If we're in the channel and we get a break outside, we're probably going to retest that high. So price will try to do that either we're going to get two legs down or we will reverse right now to get that new high but either way price will try to do it so thank you for stopping by and checking out my video make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised on what you can learn leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets 
Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.